national champion, Olympic figure skater, superstar, Jason Brown is with us. How you doing, Jason? I'm great, Sam. How are you doing? And I, I'm trying to figure out where we cross paths because I was a camper and a counselor at Owen St. Ruby Union Institute. No way. Oh my God, I went for five years. Then I went for five years as well. So I went to Sophie and Aleph and Gimel and then Havara and then, and then Moshe. How about you? Oh my gosh. I actually, I like went all the way from the beginning and I did Sophim um, as, as well as Moshe. Um, but for me, I always did like Sophim Aleph and Aleph Vet. Like I always did the beginning because I would like do the two weeks and then, or, and then go uh, skating. That's so cool how you're being, you're such an elite athlete at such a young age, but your parents still said, hey, be a kid, live a normal life. You know what? My parents were all about the balanced lifestyle. They were like, that was just like such an important key part of my upbringing. They like set these parameters, which I am so thankful for, but they were basically like, you know, we're raising you at home. You're going to go to public schooling and, you know, you're going to do these extracurricular activities. And you obviously, that's not what it wasn't like they were forcing me to do it. They're like, yeah. You do it and if you love it like you know do it and we'll you know the training will, will work around it and you can kind of dedicate as much time as you want but they wanted me to have this really balanced life and in high school were you in theater or I, I know you played the piano so were you involved in other activities so i did in middle school is when i did most of my dabbling in like all the different extracurriculars so i did like cross country i was in all the school musicals i played travel soccer i was obviously skating um, and then once I started high school, that was kind of where like everything kind of fell to the wayside and I was more focused on just school and skating. So were you one of those kids who would go to the rink at like 5 a.m., like before school and after school? You got it. That yeah. was me. That was me. Such good parents to have such a good support system. So after you graduated from Highland Park High School, what was next? Where did you so live? So then I ended up moving to Colorado. So I moved for, to Colorado to train for the next five years. Um, but you know, my parents always said when you graduate high school, like then you're, you know, that kind of free to do whatever you want and, um, we'll, we'll support you no matter what. Um, and so I, I moved to Colorado and I was there for five years. And then after those five years, I moved to Toronto to continue training for the next four. And, uh, sorry, um, were you still living there now? A af after Stars and Ice is complete, where are you going to be living? It's a great question. <laughs> I don't even know the answer. I, you know, it was so, you know, it's. <laughs> for, you know, whenever we're training for the Olympics, it's like we're, we have this like solar focus, you know, just kind of every, all the momentum and everything that we're thinking about kind of wraps around February and kind of getting to February. Exactly. We have that tunnel vision. Yes. And we, um, I remember like finishing my event in February in Beijing and I was like, ah. Oh what do I do next? I was like, it was like this, like, I was like overwhelmed with this very jarring kind of feeling that, you know, for four years I had been in Toronto working till up till this point. And it came and went. And I like looked at my coaches and I was like, wait, is this the end? So, I mean, I think I'm still kind of processing, figuring out what I want to do next, but everything that we were talking about was till that four year mark. That year mark ended <laughs> and I'm in the limbo at the moment, obviously really focused right now on our post-Olympic tour, which is Stars on Ice, traveling with my teammates. So that's been the most amazing experience and getting to perform, but yeah. I know you started getting, <laughs> what's that? No, I just said TBD. <laughs> TBD, yeah. Well, I know you started skating because of your older sister. So where is she, where is she living now? Yeah, my sister's in Wicker Park. So she's in the Chicago area. So she's probably voting for Chicago. Yeah. Oh, my entire family's in Chicago. So my entire family is rallying behind me moving back to home. And I haven't been home in nine years, you know, been living in, in the Chicago area for nine years. So I'm definitely like, you know, I definitely am excited about the idea of moving back home and being around, you know, my family and um, just having that, you know, this is where my roots are. So uh, Starsonice.com, the place to go tickets this Saturday at the UC, where, uh, uh, who, what other uh, skaters are going to be there? I mean, we are just so excited. So it's almost the entire U.S. figure skating Olympic team. You have the team event, silver medalist that just came off. 
in the Olympics, which is so exciting. You have Nathan Chen, who just won Olympic gold. You know, you have Madison Ch- uh, Chalk and Evan Bates and Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue, who are the two of the best ice dance teams in the entire world. Um, one of which won a bronze medal at the Olympics. We have, you know, national champions, Karen Chen, Alyssa Liu, Mariah Bell, Mariah Nagasu. Like it's, it's, we have newly crowned world champion pair team, Brandon Frazier and Alexa Kniram. I'm telling you, and I don't know if you can tell by my excitement, like it is an incredible cast. It's an incredible show. Like you will not be disappointed. It's really exciting. It's innovative. And um, one of the things that's so special for us is like, we have been performing in empty arenas for the last two years because of that's just been the case with COVID and competitions. And we are just in this celebratory mode getting to perform in front of people and it's just the most exciting and we're just all so grateful to be out there and performing and it's just a really special show and I just come out come to the United Center yes. it's, it's, it's amazing 7 30 p.m this Saturday May 14th guys so you got a lot of friends and family coming oh oh <laughs> it's 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 gonna be we have ton tons, tons and tons oh yeah oh yeah because I, I i saw that it, there's still tickets available but the meet and greet which is super cool is sold out i, I don't yeah. know how you're gonna have time to meet and greet your own family and friends i and know well i hear you the joke about it is everyone like all my family and friends text me before being like we can't wait to see you we know you're not gonna see us but we can't wait to see you and so it's really sweet because it's kind of like the joke in the family that like like everyone's always like we can't wait to see you even though you won't see us you know so yeah. like where should everyone follow you on social media yeah so my instagram and twitter handle are at jason b skates just that easy All right, this saturday at the united center stars on ice stars on ice.com to get tickets jason brown good to see you jason so great seeing you thanks so much sam